The whiteboard can be an effective teaching tool in the classroom. It helps students visualize content and recall important terms, concepts, and ideas. Effective whiteboard use can make the lesson accessible for all students. The way you decide to use the whiteboard in your class is selective. In this video, we'll offer basic advice that you are welcome to adopt or adapt as you see fit. When using the whiteboard, be sure to use proper dry erase markers so that the writing can be easily erased. When choosing a marker color, black and blue provide the highest color contrast on the whiteboard, which makes reading the board easier for all students, especially students with vision loss. Red can be hard to read from a distance, but can be used for underlining words or arrows and diagrams. Red should not be used for writing words. Ensure you're always writing with clear letters that are big enough for all to see. Avoid writing in all capitals or cursive writing. Effective whiteboard use includes highlighting key ideas, terms, or concepts that are particularly important to the learning and that students may want to refer back to throughout the lesson. The whiteboard is also a great tool for laying out diagrams that allow students to better visualize what you're teaching. When using diagrams, be sure to explain as you draw and include clear symbols to help enhance knowledge retention. If you make a spelling mistake, not to worry, it happens to everyone. Simply erase and correct. Many faculty like to section off their whiteboard into three to four different areas. Choose a section of the board, typically to the side, to write the agenda that students can refer back to throughout class. This allows students to take stock of what's already been covered and what's coming next. Other sections can be used for key terms, diagrams, collaborative discussion, lesson instructions, and timing, or whatever you feel fits your teaching style. Whiteboards are a useful tool during interactive in-class activities. Collaborative whiteboard use allows students an opportunity to brainstorm and see their own ideas visually represented in the conversation. Feel free to allow students to contribute to the lesson by coming up to the whiteboard. This is a great way to help shift the energy in the class and have students walking around up out of their seats. Be sure to ask before erasing. You may suggest that students take pictures of the whiteboard before the end of class so they can refer back to this learning for studying. Before leaving the classroom, always ensure the board is erased and ready for the next professor. For more resources, visit the Teaching and Learning website or contact us.